when you're buying a car from the lean to auction you'll see most of uh, what everything's on the window windshield and kind of give you a telltale sign of uh, the vehicle so one of the things I like to go for I like to go for cars that have keys and I also like to check the registration of course with the fluid any and all fluids in the vehicle and also this will tell you where it went to um, would be the orange police department so it was impounded by them uh, the date that it was impounded was 8 August 8 28 2020 and also just another uh, where is it going to uh, what lot and also circle it they have a key right there so you know um, that the car uh, was, was running or was taken from somebody that was driving it or who knows what possibly happened so you always want to be looking at the also another helpful hint is if you're buying cars from tow, lean sale tow auctions if they have any parking slashes on the tires that means the car was either broken down or has been sitting in an area for over 72 hours so you want to make sure that you look at also the tires amongst all the fluids and at this this tow yard auction I was able to actually uh, start the vehicle so the mileage and I thought 100 uh, 124 thousand my 134 thousand miles was actually uh, actually a great uh, price for it so as you can see from uh, another clip I showed kind of the car way it was um, why I bought it still so at some places they take out they clean out all the uh, um, personal property or what was actually in the vehicle um, so as you see here this is what the person had in the vehicle looked like he was drinking some alcohol got pulled over maybe taken in for a DUI um, I'll look in the trunk one of the places you can look is in the trunk and sometimes they don't take the personal property you actually can find some items that uh, you can get and, and add to your own personal items so you know so what I found is it has a big huge boom box in here so the stereo actually kills so you never know what kind of treasures you're gonna find in a vehicle um, for personal property money I found money I found drugs uh, of course marijuana crack cocaine uh, methamphetamine uh, needles and usually cars with needles I don't buy I just they're just dangerous so I'm really when I see a car with personal property in it what I'll do is I'll just make sure I have gloves on and make sure that I don't stick my hand anywhere that I may get pricked by some some things. You know, it just all depends. Just always be uh, due diligence, take care of yourself, and watch uh, personal property. Um, so far, this is a good looking vehicle here. And we'll do another walk around once I clean out this video and um, get it up here. But these are just some quick clips, some quick uh, suggestions when you're buying a vehicle. Uh, personal property you couldn't make out. Um, Hopefully, uh, I went to this one auction, they had a Jeep that had to take the oil, the oil pan off because they actually had uh, some drugs in an oil pan that actually came from Mexico into the city of uh, Foothill in Orange County. Uh, it was interesting. But um, anyways, and also sometimes that I, I found I bought in cars where a person expired inside the vehicle in my other prior videos. Um, you just kind of know that once you buy cars, you just know that that smell when some person passes. There's also good bio. Um, uh, stuff where you can actually clean the car get that smell out so you can resell the car and I bought in cars with roaches and living roaches in there and then and come to find out that the roaches were living in exhaust because the car was in a roach ridden um, house and the car was just left there and abandoned so pretty interesting anyways I'm going to take this car for a quick spin and then we'll do my walk around later this is 2005 uh, Buick LaCrosse that I purchased from a lean sale auction and uh, motor runs great I had to get a new battery for it yet uh, I didn't follow my strategies on this one I didn't check the transmission fluid and come to take it when I was starting it up and gonna drive it home I had no transmission fluid and then when I bought transmission fluid uh, transmission fluid leaked right out and onto the floor so there is a crack in the uh, transmission uh, pan. Hey, if you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button down below. So, I'm losing money on this. Uh, I'll try to break even. Yeah, it's, it's one of the things you got to do. You got to follow the other strategies. So, always, always, always check the check the um, fluid levels and whatever you're purchasing, and make sure you get to the auction early so you can look at the cars and hear them run. Um, I just bought this on a whim because I, I know that these pretty much cars are bulletproof. They have great motors. They run really well. Um, yet, I just didn't do it with this car. And here we go. So, it's a slight 
little stink in here. Um, I don't know if the guy died in the car, but one of those things. So I'm gonna have to go in and uh, try to uh, fix the pan with a temporary patch. See if I can get this thing sold, or I'm just gonna sell it as is. Um, have somebody just come in, uh, take it. So that's what actually came in the back of the trunk of the car. And so here we are. Um, anyways, just remember you always gotta look look at the cars, look at the fluid. Very important, look under the car. And if the auction start the car, they move them. That's just another great thing. And details, details. I really screwed up on this one. You know, these days in time where money's tight and you're trying to make an extra buck. So anyways, thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. I'm going to put uh, some other uh, pictures of this vehicle when it's bought from the auction and some of the cars from the, this au particular auction that I went to. So anyways, thank you very much.